Good morning, Minecraft fans. This is Collins, and today we are going to build a hunting blind. So let's take a look at our little chest here. We got some cobblestone, and you don't really need this much. A stack will probably do. Um, some cobblestone slats that I had laying around. You can make those on the fly, and then I'm going to light this up with jack-o'-lanterns. We're going to put a crafting table and a furnace in here, which you don't have to do. We got some sand just in case. We need like three ladders, but I had some more, and then we're going to use some chests here. So I got one half chest, and then this chest here is going to be our second chest. So let's grab all our stuff. We'll get this uh, sorted. Let's see. That's probably good. Let's uh, get rid of the creepers. Let's see if I can do it without... Oh! That one's blowing up. He's blowing up too. Alright, creeper explosions. Go creepers. Gotta love the creepers. It's a creeper world. Okay. So first of all, let's take a look over here. I'm going to bring up F3. And you can see this is a plains biome. So what we're going to build is we're building a hunting blind. And the goal is to hunt stuff um, within relative safety. That's what a hunting blind is in real life. And look, it's more creepers. Uh, let's see if we can take care of him without him blowing up. Back off. There we go. That's how you kill creepers. Alright. So, hunting in relative safety. Uh, relative safety, it's not 100% safe. So it's still a little bit of a challenge to it. But, uh, hunting. So, let's grab some breakfast. Mmm, potatoes. And let's take a look around. So, in plains, you find yourself a high spot, and this is a pretty good spot. You got a relative good view uh, around you, but uh, we're actually going to build in the desert. Plains work, but deserts work better. And the reason why deserts work better is you can hunt en endermen in the desert, and it doesn't rain. Um, in the plains biome, it will rain, and eventually, uh, grab some sand. And we can use this later to fix our little creeper holes over there. Uh, in a desert biome, it doesn't rain, so endermen won't uh, warp all over and despawn or die before we get a chance to kill them, possibly get their ender pearls. Uh, so here's a good high spot, but it's a little too close to this tundra biome, so let's go. We want to be kind of far away from any bases we have set up, and there's a little base I have set up. So I have this spot over here, and as you can see, I kind of laid this out a little bit already. Uh, so let's get started. We are going to build a 5x5 five five box out of 3, 4, 5. Some sort of material that's fairly resilient. Cobblestone works great. It's easy to come by. Uh, so we're going to build that. Let's see. And we want an opening to get into stuff. So our opening is going to point towards our base right there. And let's just go ahead and dig out some of this. Fill that in with cobblestone too, and then we'll throw. This is going to be a three height thing total, so let's throw some ladders up in here, and then we'll continue building. So layer one's five by five. Layer two is going to actually just be a three by three layer, and then the third layer is going to be a five by five layer. And this is pretty much it. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw some mood lighting in. Let's get our pumpkins out. Jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, you can use torches for this. It's pretty simple either way. Uh, so this is our basic hunting blind. We'll go ahead and make it a little homey. Let's uh, put a, a crafting table down. Uh, you can use that comes in handy if you're hunting in the middle of the night and your sword sword breaks. You can make another sword. Let's throw a furnace in here and maybe we can cook up some sand while we're waiting or do whatever we need to do. Uh, speaking of sand, let's go ahead and build up and prepare for our roof. So our roof is going to be too tall. Um, that's going to prevent 
uh, Enderman from spawning or from getting into our little doohickey here. And I'm going to light the roof up with jack o' lanterns. Jack o' lanterns are cool because they're a light source and fairly easy to come by. You could use glowstone, but uh, glowstone's a little bit harder to come by. And this is kind of designed for starter world. Um, and then we're going to build our roof out of half slabs. And these are not upside down, these are standard facing half slabs, which means it's not spawnable area. The way I understand the endermen work is when they teleport, like they can teleport to a spawnable area, but they can't teleport to a non-spawnable area. So, uh, like technically the jack-o'-lanterns can be spawned on, so they could spawn on that, but we're going to use them for lighting, so we don't, we're, we'll risk it. Uh, so let's get our last little lighting jack o' up, see if we can get some slabs going. Here we go, we got our little frame, and we can fill it in in a second here. Let's break this construction material down. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, so, I brought some chests, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually stick the chests in the roof. And the chests work in the roof because uh, bobs don't spawn on the chests. Um, but chests don't stand a full height. So um, this chest here, if I put it on the ground, first of all, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of room for it. But if I put it on the ground, then I kind of have that indent when I walk over it. And we don't really want that. We want a full height of uh, movement, free movement when we're in here. So we can pretty much move around anywhere. We got crafting table, um, the furnace. You know what? Let's do this. Let's make some glass, just because glass is always cool to have. And we're in a desert, so we have a access to a lot of sand. Let me take a look around. Take a look at the hunting blind. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's not spectacular. It's not a mega coliseum, uh, but this works great for us. We can hunt stuff in relative safety. This gap here. Um, most of the time, now sometimes spiders get by, but most of the time a spider will come up, walk up, and they'll climb up into that little gap there, and they'll hang out there, and then once they're in there, because you're inside, so they path to you, they path from here to there, and then they try to climb from there. They won't try to climb from here straight up to there, they'll try to climb from in here, and they can't. So they kind of get stuck in this layer. Um, occasionally if a spider comes up and they jump, when they're hitting you, as you can see, if I jump, I'm actually touching that block. Uh, so if a spider jumps when they come up, they can actually get on top of this thing, but uh, most of the time they don't. So we're fairly safe from spiders. And then let's take some more sand and we'll just kind of fill in some more stuff. Uh, so once you get an initial hunting blind set up, let's take a look at the train. Let's get a good view of the train here. Uh, so as you can see, I have a fairly good view of the plains over here. Um, this desert, unfortunately, isn't that big. I can see most of the stuff in this hill. I got a lot of space over here and a lot of space over there, but I'm not so close to where my little base is that the light from my base is going to ruin the spawning in this area over there. So yeah, we're going to wait for nightfall now and test this thing out. So as you can see guys, the sun is setting and night is upon us and we will test out our little hunting blind. Well, this is great for starting out in a new world. Um, we've got some glass cooking, gives us something to do when we're here. If you bring some raw food that's cookable, you can cook food while you're doing your little hunting. Um, I have a basic iron sword, nothing special. Not super tools, I do have diamond boots. In this world I'm actually... Uh, a little bit more prepared than I would be to build one of these, but they're kind of fun to have anyway. So as you can see, mobs are going to start spawning here. We got a um, zombie over there. I think those are just flowers. Those aren't spiders. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a skeleton coming up. There's a spider coming up. Um, uh, and now it's getting dark. Good. So we'll see. We got some creepers and stuff over there. So. Let's go ahead and bring some stuff in. Let's bring a spider in. Alright buddy, you see me. Come to Papa. 
to test out the little trick. Now, excuse me, here comes the spider. And look, he didn't make it up. Because he's stuck in that gap. And then, um, because it's this short, I can actually just attack him. And then we'll do a check. And there's no mobs around, so I can jump down and grab my experience and my strength and eyes if I get any, which I don't think I did. Let's take a look. Yep, no eyes, no string. Okay. So, we got creepers, we got skeletons, we got spiders, we got more spiders, we got zombies, and more creepers. So another good thing that this is good for is records. So if you can get a batch of creepers and a batch of skeletons, um, and you can lure them in together, the skeletons will shoot the creepers. Obviously when a skeleton kills a creeper, uh, they drop a record. So that's kind of cool to use. Really what this is I built use for is for endermen hunting. And we don't see any endermen, so let's see if we can get tricks and mobs into um, coming over. Uh, mobs will also just kind of despawn if they're um, if they're around or if they're out too far like this like that spider there eventually will despawn because he's too far away from me so as you can see from the creeper and I'm holding shift right now so I don't fall off the edge he's looking at me but he's not trying to blow up so um, I can attack him and when I attack him if I back up he stops sizzling and then I can attack him again, he usually moves. Where'd he go? He's around here somewhere. There he is. Yeah, just you gotta back up really quick because you don't want him blowing up your whole structure there. And then Oh yeah. It's a little dangerous, but it's not really that bad. Ah, there we go. And we got some experience. We didn't get any gunpowder. Oh yeah, we did get gunpowder. Perfect. So, where's the Enderman at? Because I don't see no freaking Enderman. So like I said, if you just kind of wait around in this, think, so you can see that spider despawned. Um, mobs spawn and despawn, they're far enough away, there's an Enderman. And if I look at him, here he comes. He's pissed, so he's going to come over. We'll take a look how Endermen work. So. He can't actually hit me from here. If I stand very far to the edge and he jumps, he can hit me, but he can't really hit me from here. And he got tired of me waiting, so I'm going to hit him. And they usually teleport away, and hey, there's some more. I think they're too far away for me to attract him. Where did that guy go? Did he teleport all the way over there? see if we can piss off these Endermen. The other cool thing about the three tall is... Oh yeah. They're pissed at me now. Let's get in here real quick. Alright, three of them. So yeah, they teleport away, but they're also pretty harmless. Eventually, we get enough hits in, and we kill them off. And we kill them all off. I had three, right? Where's number three at? Oh, he actually is on the roof. They don't usually get up on the roof. Like I said, they can, sp they can teleport up to where those pumpkins are. Come on, guy. Just die for me. Oh, I need to teleport it to the roof again. Okay, I'm probably doing this wrong. There we go. Okay, and then we'll do a spot check, and there's no mobs in the immediate vicinity, so we can come down here and collect our experience, collect our ender pearls if we have any, which I don't think we did. Yeah, no ender pearls. Grab some food. Let's take a look around. I don't see any more endermen. Uh, maybe we'll piss off a spider. Ooh, a spider jockey. 
That's interesting. I have never tra attacked a spider jockey in my uh, in a hunting blind. Let's see how this works. Come on, buddy. That's new for me. So, skeletons, if you stand back... Whoa! Ah! Yeah, skeletons, if you stand back, they can't hit you. Um, if they get in here, they can't really hit you either. I, I can usually hit him, though. Come on. Let's go down the ladder, then. And I'm holding shift to stay on the ladder at this spot, and looks like we got them both. Alright. So that wasn't too bad. Like I said, if the mobs jump, they can... If the spiders jump, they can get above you. If they don't jump, they just kind of sit like this. And we got mobs spawning and despawning. You can see the, the type of mobs change every once in a while. Um, no more creepers. I'd like to see creepers... Um, alternatively, skeleton and creeper... If not, well, we're looking for Enderman, but Skeleton and Creeper together would be cool. Uh, so if you kind of hide, the Skeletons will come up close. Um, if you get a good angle here, they actually can't... Well, they can hit you when they jump back, but if you get a good angle, you can actually stand... You can hear him shooting his bow. And then you just back up and he can't hit you anymore. Uh, and you back up when he does that. And look, he killed my zombie. That's good. If that was a creeper, we'd have a record. So yeah, you can see this thing's fairly safe. We killed some Endermen, we killed some creepers, we killed some spiders, we killed some zombies, we killed some skeletons. Yeah, this thing's really uh, useful. It's no mob grinder, so you're not going to get to level 30 in an instant. And I'm just going to attack these guys because they're pretty easy just to attack. Yeah, so that's our hunting blind. Very basic uh, little design, really easy to build. Uh, you can add more storage up at the top there. As you can see, I've got room for more chests. Um, you can probably do something else for lighting. Uh, maybe put the pumpkins down here and replace those with the half slabs. Uh, but we got a little bit of gunpowder. Oh, we got a bow. We got some. We got a bow that isn't really that worn. Some strings, some spider eyes, no inner pearls. But uh, if you build this in the right spot and you spend a lot of time hunting in this thing, you can actually get ender pearls. Uh, that's great if you haven't been to the end yet, because you can get enough ender pearls to find the stronghold and uh, put into the end portal to get to the end, and then you'll have all the endermen you need. But until then. You need some way to attack Endermen without being in too much danger. So this works really good for that. Um, usually what I do when I build one of these is in the daytime, while I'm waiting to hunt, is I'll go out to the areas, like I'll go out to that area there and, uh, with my shovel and just kind of shave some stuff off the top. Um, maybe expand the bottom of this up a little bit. Cover up some water holes is another good thing to do. I don't have any sand left with me, so I could shave some off of there and use the sand to fill in that. It's a basic hunting blind. Oh, hopefully you guys find this useful for starter survival world. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and like it on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel if you want. We may put some more stuff in here up on the videos. We got I got a lot of stuff that we can upload. I got. Uh, revisions to mob grinders from spawners I've got uh, that are a little bit different than the other ones that you see around and my creeper hole and I gotta fix up there um, I have a actually an ender bowl I call it uh, so I have an enderman uh, grinder that I might uh, try to put a video up for um, 
some redstone stuff. I do a little bit of redstone stuff. I'm no redstone expert. I'm no pear squirrel, but, you know. We'll see about the redstone. Um, as you can see, I have a video on a cobblestone generator, or smooth stone generator, that um, uses a little bit of redstone. Just enough so you don't have to be a PhD to figure out how the dang thing works. Uh, so we might do some more redstone stuff like that. I might do a, a let's play, uh, depending on how many how much popularity I get. So let me know in the feedback if that's what you want to see. Uh, some types of inventions that we can do. A lot of the stuff I build, I kind of like to build it uh, not overly complex, not really Rube Goldberg. As you can see, that thing there is very basic. There's nothing too special about it, uh, but it's useful, uh, which is the goal.